greetings teacher today we are going to learn about the different types of polymers we see in our daily lives before that let's first understand what is polymer polymer is a macromolecule made up by joining small units that is monomers now these monomers joining together can be of the same type which is called homopolymer or of different types which is called heteropolymer polymer study is very vast in biophysics and includes polymer chemistry and polymer physics there are three basic types of polymer first is natural polymer these are derived from natural source made by nature without any modification in the polymer by a human resin starch are some of the examples semi synthetic polymer it has nature natural polymer with some modification by humans to improve its physical or chemical properties for example cellulose acetate which is also called rayon cellulose nitrate etc synthetic polymers are artificially made polymers by humans for example bakelite nylon teflon etc now let's talk about the different polymers that we see in our daily lives the polymers in bathroom the toothbrush that we use to brush our teeth is 100% made of polymers the body of the toothbrush is made up of hard plastic and rubber for a good hold on it the bristles are made out of nylon nylon is soft yet firm material which is perfect for cleaning our teeth buckets which is used for storage of water are made up of polypropylene the pipes used for transport of water is made up of pvc that is polyvinyl chloride polymers are also used in sports in making jerseys of players the material used is polyester with some modification it can provide comfort to the player as well as keeping its body temperature normal goalkeepers use gloves made up of neoprene neoprene has a good friction which can keep the ball the football is made up of rubber in formula 1 cars the chassis that is the body of the car is made of light yet strong polymer called carbon fiber the tire is made up of isoprene to provide good friction and speed to the car polymers are also used in electronic industry for example bake light which is used in making switch boards and computer discs optical fiber is made up of fluorinated acrylonitrile butadiene styrene or abs and polyethylene terephthalate glycol petg polyacetylene is used among numerous other application in foil packaging during computer transportation as most of the polymers are also considered as bad conductors of electricity they are used to cover electrical wires to prevent any electrical discharge polymers are also used in cooking for example ptfe that is polytetrafluoroethylene is a polymer used in making non sticky utensils layer because it is highly inert and does not easily react with other substances Many of the spatulas used for stirring the food are made up of Teflon to smoothly remove the food from the pan. Polythene bags are used to carry vegetables. Many of the hard plastic utensils for example Tupperware are made up of polycarbonate and LPD that is low density polythene etc. Now as you can see there are lots of uses of polymers in our daily lives but there is a misconception that polymers are always harmful in nature not all polymers cannot be recycled the first thing that comes in mind when we consider polythene when we consider polymers as bad is ethyl polythene which is the plastic bag we used to carry 
through natural process it takes millions of years to degrade and through chemical processes it takes a lot of time and also it is very costly so instead of using polythene we can use jute bags or cotton bags scientists are also working on producing more biodegradable polymers and will succeed in the near future and with this i end my presentation thank you